What I would say to someone, um, a young lady or older woman or male, anybody struggling with like same-sex attraction, um, specifically in Christ, even um, it's it's natural for us to have affections for things that God isn't pleased with. Um, and I don't say natural in like a affirming that it's okay way, but that, yeah, you're going to see that in you possibly. But I think, I think the church in some instances has made it seem, one, we've like kind of like separated homosexuality and just like, this is your only issue when really your issue is your heart and dealing with that. Because if God was to just completely save you from homosexuality, but not give you the power to walk by the Spirit and everything, you'll still be a liar. You'll still be a masturbator, probably. <laughs> Porn addict, probably. Bitter, probably. You know what I'm saying? So even just seeing like, we are holistically in need of God in every area, not just homosexuality. Um, and so recognizing that and also knowing and seeing that God has never come. I don't know in scripture, I could be wrong, but I haven't seen where God has promised to remove our temptations. But I do see an, a massive amount of evidence that God has promised to give us the power to flee them um, and not give in to them. And I think seeing God as beautiful and as worthy will give us some motivation to do that either. By his grace, of course, he has to change our hearts and give us the will <laughs> to want to do that. But seeing that like, okay, if you are tempted as a Christian, if you are, if you are a believer, have repented of your sins, God has filled you with your spirit, with, with his spirit, and you see fruit in your life, yet you are still dealing with these temptations, don't what the enemy or the devil will do or people will do is because you're tempted, you'll automatically think I must still be gay because I feel this way. It's like, no, you're human. <laughs> this is what it is. But you are a child of God and God is gracious and has given you the power to not walk in that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to remember that God is worthy. He really is good. He really is beautiful because even I, I can testify and people I've had conversations with, even when they were fulfilling the lust of the flesh and walking in homosexuality, they never had peace. They never had joy. So it's like, don't give in to the lie that that will make you happy because it didn't before. <laughs> so it's like recognizing that you're a child of, the, child of God. God has given you power. You are in him. Believe him to give you freedom link up with people to walk with you. It is no way you could possibly win this war by yourself. We were not set up to be alone um, or be isolated, um, especially when dealing with sin. Like, get with people that are stronger than you, that will walk with you, women that will show you even what it is to be a woman. Because I need to learn that personally. Like, what is biblical womanhood? I've been raised to think that aggression means goodness. Like meekness is weakness when God is saying, no, that's beautiful to me. So like even just, I just feel like I'm talking a lot. But yeah, like <laughs> getting around people that will help you walk and consistently reminding yourself about who God is and who you are in him. And I think people will experience so much freedom when they like their identity is rooted in what the scripture says they are versus how they feel. Um, yeah.